Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you're at in the world today. My name is Master Paul, and I am honored to be with you here today during this live stream event. Uh, it appears that the live stream is still not working that smoothly. Um, my guess is at this point that is something that is um, face related <clears throat> because at this time the feed is very very small um, at this time the, the wireless I've got a four or five uh, G going right now and, and I've got the highest wireless I can get so we're going to have to today hopefully it will be a very good wireless stream and hopefully we'll be able to resolve some of those issues so I'm very grateful for all that are watching all those that are coming I'd like to welcome Johnny and Christina. Great to see you both. Uh, I hope that the uh, Facebook feed becomes a little more um, solid in a few minutes here. Um, yesterday, I, I wish to apologize to all of you. I worked on the live stream for about uh, three minutes. I did it that I could. And uh, so I'm not sure if it is my computer, if it is my uh, telephone, I mean, or if it is Facebook at this point. But that's the only two things <laughs> that are left. So I'm going to have to take a look at the telephone, make sure that uh, it's not my issues on my end. <clears throat> Please let me know if it's uh, stuttering or if it's at least you can hear me at this point. Based on what I'm saying, it looks like I'm stuttering. So welcome, Pat. Good to see you as well. So today we will be talking about soul marketing, how to apply it to your business, whatever that business may be. And there's many aspects to soul marketing that are going to make a huge difference in the success or lack of success. And so yesterday uh, I had prepared for this what's conversation today by uh, doing a flow. And so I did type out the flow uh, since I had <laughs> I had time since uh, we didn't actually go live. I went ahead and I typed out the flow, and I'm going to read that a little bit later as more and more people gather. Welcome, Crystal. Great to see you. <clears throat> I'm guessing that some others have come in, but I'm unable to see who else might be here if your name doesn't pop up on my, my uh, flow. But it is great to see you all. Hoping that others will join us. It also appears that it is still choppy. I am beside myself with the ability to resolve this as a person that is somewhat technical and typically resolving these kinds of things. At this point, I don't know what to do. But it is free. Thank you, Facebook live stream. We'll see what we can do. So, Rianne, welcome. Yvonne, welcome. Welcome, Stephanie. <coughs> welcome, Renee. I'm kind of hoping and waiting that the um, stream gets a little bit better. Welcome, Diaraj. Great to you here today. I'm gonna uh, pull myself up on uh, on the website and see how I look and sound, so that I know what you guys are seeing. Bear with me a minute here. Okay, so I can hear very clearly that it's not a stream. Uh, um, <clears throat> give me a moment, please. I have to decide what to do. Yeah. So, uh, um, <coughs> I guess this is going to be a trial run. I'm going to indeed uh, and offer blessings associated with soul marketing. Uh, if you want to suffer through a quality connection, I understand if you leave. I probably would if I was listening to my, uh, anybody talking and every, every three seconds it would cut out, cut out, cut out. Um, not much I can do about it at this point. It's just a truly poor quality stream. 
Um, I don't know for sure if it's Facebook. When I just checked guidance, I got that it is. Uh, it's not Signal. I'm in a very focus right now. And, uh, and it, it could be my phone. That's a possibility. So let me go ahead and teach. I understand if you wish to leave, I will most likely teach on the subject again. And uh, hopefully it won't be such a So talk it to all the dinosaurs. Love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please come at this time. Please bless us to align our hearts and souls together so that as this teaching is taught on soul marketing, how to bring soul marketing to our businesses, to our life, how we can best achieve success. Please offer the greatest guidance at this time. As we tell peace and our hearts and souls to receive this information. Thank you. Thank you. Together, love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. I ping on the song I ping on the I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together love be Harmony, love, peace, and harmony. Eloha, my love, Eloha, Kako, Apa, Epili, my Puva, Kako, Aloha, my Eloha. Aloha, Malie Lokahi. <sighs> so thank you all for staying. You're all, uh, apparently, there's still a very difficult connection. I turned off Wi-Fi just with the 3D. So 4G, excuse me. So hopefully that works a little bit better. We'll find out. Soul marketing. What is soul marketing? Why is it important? And how do we apply it to transform the business and financial aspects of our life? So what is soul marketing? Soul marketing is marketing to the soul. Yesterday while preparing, <coughs> we actually was preparing for uh, going live and it didn't work out. I did a flow. And um, since I had time afterwards, I went ahead and typed out the flow because I didn't want to do the flow again. And um, I'm happy to send anyone that asks for it this flow uh, in writing. I can send you the, the Word document and you can open it on your own to review it. So, uh, Gabrielle, and welcome, Esther. Welcome, Carrie. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't acknowledge you earlier. So um, I'm going to read now the flow from yesterday, the soul marketing. So here it goes. Soul marketing is soul communication with souls for the purpose of aligning souls together for the purpose of equal distribution of value. So this is a flow. 
It is not for the purpose of selfishness and greed. It is not for the purpose of personal success. It is for the purpose of sharing of a value exchange. I thought that was interesting. That so, the soul of soul marketing is the one that gave me this flow. And it said that it is not for the purpose of personal success. It is for the purpose of a sharing of a value exchange. When one approaches soul marketing, it is of greatest importance that it is done in reverence and gratitude and in appreciation, especially towards the ones that you are communicating with. Those that are called, those that come, some are curious, some are serious, some are ones that have been harmed by you in the past, and they have come to see what you are doing. In many cases, they have come because you have asked them to come. In every case, there is an opportunity to clear blockages and to promote your business in a way that is a win-win. Effective soul marketing is done best by heart opening. Effective, I'm going to repeat that because that was important. Effective soul marketing is done by heart opening. So it is recommended to use love, peace, harmony to begin all soul marketing. The next step would be forgiveness. To call forth your ancestors and to do deep and authentic forgiveness. For this are all lifetimes of financial transactions or any form of transaction that was selfish in any way. So the three steps it's, it's suggesting right off the top is call all the souls, immediately connect heart to heart with love, peace, and harmony, and then do forgiveness with all those souls if you or your ancestors had brought harm to them, especially in business or in finance. Uh, when you start with love, when you offer love and forgiveness, then their hearts are open and any communication you wish to share in the form of a soul marketing will then be received, heard, valued, and acted upon with the highest propensity of success. So <clears throat> then uh, the soul of soul marketing goes on to share. That which is to be shared must be shared with love and detachment. Detachment is of great importance because you must allow the divine to do its job in whatever way that the divine knows is fit. For example, you might think it is best to have a certain clientele coming to you right away. That might be your mindset and you want them now. But it could be better that they would come in four to five weeks because you might need to get certain things in order to best serve them. So by detaching and allowing, you are allowing the divine in the best way to accomplish what you have asked the divine to do. So detachment is as important as doing the soul marketing with love. When you do soul marketing, communicate with all these souls by sharing what you are offering and explaining how it can benefit all those souls. Explain clearly the what, why, and how. Okay? Read your flyer. Read your advertisement. Read your service directly. So most people, if we have a business, if we have soul marketing, excuse me, a soul healing business, if we have a massage business, if we have a, uh, any business, doesn't matter if you're in a printing shop, okay? Whatever your business, soul marketing will work. You follow this pattern of what they're suggesting. So it says, for example, if you have any form of advertising, uh, website, etc., you want to s clearly spell out what is on that flyer, what is on that advertising, what is on your website, what is the address of your website, your phone number. Remember to clearly list all of the ways that these souls that you're soul marketing to can contact you i.e., please come to find me on my Facebook account or my YouTube account. Go to my website, www.asoulhealer.com. That's my website. You can reach me at 808, and then you state your phone number, etc. Um, remember, when you're doing soul marketing, you're talking directly to the souls. 
so why is this important? Because when they see your flyer, they have heard it already. When they hear your phone number, they have seen it already. When, when they come across any advertisement that you have out there via website or whatever, then when they see your information, it's already been received at the soul level. So that brings a form of commonality and trust. Something about it that says, you know, I don't know what it is about this guy's picture or this, this, this word that I'm reading here, but it doesn't speak about it makes me feel comfortable with this person. I am going to do business with them. That's why soul marketing is so important in advance of any actual connection with people. Uh, there's more to show, but I'm, I'm kind of adding more right now. One thing that I've learned uh, is that heaven brings us people from left field. I tell you, I can tell you, I have done soul marketing <clears throat> and specifically spelled out my flyers, my website, my this, my that. And I get a call from somebody that I haven't talked to in three years that's talking to me about things that I need to offer them blessings for. I get a call from or, or an email through my website. Now, it's completely left field. Or maybe it was something that I had done two years ago when the person happened to get my number and happened to find it in their wallet that was two years old. I can tell you that has happened numerous, numerous, numerous times. And it happens almost exclusively when I do soul marketing because I'm not always as consistent as I need to be. I have been at Master Shaw's retreats when he offers downloads and transmissions for financial blessings and literally at the retreat I get phone calls for business. Out of the blue. People I, know, I don't even know. It's happened numerous times. So when Master Shaw tells you to trust heaven, you know, that he's offered the financial blessings to trust, I can tell tell you it's 100% true. Heaven holds the key to releasing our finances. Heaven holds the key to releasing the abundance. We have to align to that abundance and those finances that have already been released, or we need to create more virtue, one of the two. So marketing aligns those people to us, but heaven will only release them to come to us if we're doing things in the form of service with that intention. We also must make an agreement to offer a portion of our financial blessings to those that um, are, are less fortunate. So whenever I communicate with heaven, Dear God, Dao, Dear Source, Dear Master Shah, I promise that with the financial abundance that I receive, that I will give at least 10% back to charity or other organizations that can benefit humanity. And then heaven watches you. Did you actually do that, right? So there's lots of ways in which um, heaven will open the gate and allow you to receive the abundance that has been put into your virtue account. Uh, so soul marketing is only one aspect of it. We must keep that in mind. So then it says, at this time, it is, this is after you do the soul marketing, you've talked to all the souls, you've communicated with them, told them everything you want, everything that you can offer. Like with my soul healing business, I literally have a conversation with the souls. I offer uh, soul, mind, body, healing, and transmission systems that can change your emotional conditions, that can transform your depression, that can transform body pain and suffering. I offer crown chakra blessings that can assist you with transforming relationship blockages. You know, I offer divine protection that includes light wall protection so that if there's a communicable diseases, you're protected. I tell them what the services that I can offer so that when they go to the website and they see these things or I talk to them about it, on a soul level, they're comfortable. You would do the same for your printing business, your pet business, your soul healing business. Whatever it is, you spell out how you can serve them. Tell them how you can serve them. If you massage, tell them what you specialize in and so forth. So when you're completed with that, <clears throat> then it's best to chant and trace for at least five minutes with a smile on your face <clears throat> and you, you can visualize too. So if you don't want to trace, you close your eyes and you visualize as you're chanting. What do you chant? You can chant divine love. You can chant love, peace and harmony. Always a great one. You can chant Master Shah's name. You can chant any divine song that carries divine power. And when you're chanting, uh, if you choose to have your eyes closed instead of tracing a calligraphy, then visualize. What would you visualize? You visualize clients calling you, clients coming to your door, standing outside your door to take advantage of your business. You would visualize 
uh, uh, your, your checking account rising, getting bigger, 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 bigger. You would visualize having to say to a client, you know, I'm booked solid for the next two weeks, but I do have an opening uh, on the third week, you know, on a Thursday. So you visualize positive, um, forward-mentioning, forward-active empowerments that help you to maintain the right mindset. So the visualization is important as well while you're chanting uh, after you do your soul marketing. So, for example, if you were selling plumbing supplies, you would call for... Now, this is important. When you call forth um, the souls that you want to market to, let's say you're in India. You want to call forth those that you can best serve. If you're on the Internet and you're serving through the Internet, then call forth all souls. I, when I do it, I call forth all souls of English-speaking nations and those that can speak or read English. Because anything other than that, it's, it's, I'm wasting that soul's time. I do that because I'm on the internet. Others might only have their village, their town, their city. So you would call forth all those that you're trying to attract in your region and area. Okay? So you, you, the reason you do this is you're respectful of those souls. So, soul marketing, of course, you call in all the holy beings. Dear divine, dear Tao, dear source, dear master Shah. They're all of the holy beings serving this mission of love and peace and harmony. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please come and bless this soul marketing and help to support my healing business? With the profits I receive, with the revenue I generate, I promise to offer 10% or more back to serve humanity. So all the holy beings come. Then you go about inviting those souls that are relevant to your business. Let's say you had a plumbing business in this example. Dear the soul of all those, past, present, and future, who will be in need of plumbing in the city of Honolulu, in the island of Oahu, please come to this soul conference. You see? So for that plumber that lives in the city of Honolulu, on the island of Oahu, he would call those souls. Because that's where his geographic area is. Now those souls will come. Why will they come? Because you've called them. Do all of them come? No, not all of them, but they come. Maybe next time, some that didn't come will also come. That's why you repeat, okay? So you call those souls that are most relevant to what you're trying to accomplish. When they come, what did the soul of soul marketing teach us? Love, peace, and harmony. They are all of these souls that have come. I love you, honor you, and I truly appreciate you. Could you please chant love, peace, harmony with me so that we join hearts and souls together and that we serve all souls unconditionally? And then, of course, ask all souls to join you. Chant for a few minutes. This opens the heart. Next, do for practice. You don't know if you or your ancestors have lied to these people, cheated them, done wrong business dealings. You have no idea if you have karma with any of these souls. So you do forgiveness with them. After you do forgiveness, then you go into your actual soul marketing. Per the discussion, you might have your flyer handy if you have a, a flyer-based event. You might have your advertisement handy if you have an advertisement-based uh, uh, article. And if you don't have either of that, then I do suggest you write down clearly the value of what you can bring to those that you're talking to. Write it down. If you're trying to do a, a Love, Peace, Harmony group, they're all those that you've called forth. I am going to be opening a Love, Peace, Harmony group. It will be at my house, which is, this is the address. I'm going to be putting some uh, flyers out at this location, this location, this location, and this location, and some other places uh, that I have not discovered yet. When you see my image, when you see Master Shaw's image, when you see the words Love, Peace, Harmony for Mother Earth, call me. Allow me to serve you. This will be a tremendous way to transform your life, to serve others, to bring virtue into your account, and to grow your soul journey. So this is an example. You would write this out until you get comfortable with how you want to state what you want to do. One of my clients has a feng shui business for romance, for bringing more romance to the bedroom. And so she would call forth all of those souls that uh, are in need of more romance, all of those souls that feel like that's lacking in their life, all of those souls that recognize that 
they need to uh, open their heart more to their mate. Uh, so you would do that specific to your business. So then you uh, talk to those souls, and then when you are done, again, you would chant. Now, um, one thing that, that uh, I told myself to tell you, but I forgot. So when I do this again, and we have a better stream, uh, we're not skipping every two seconds, then uh, I will repeat it hopefully properly uh, in order next time. But this is very important. All of those that are watching this have downloads and treasures. Even those that have no clue who Master Shah is, they have received divine transmissions because Master Shah has offered them to all souls. It is very important to turn them on at the beginning. They're all my transmissions, please turn on. Why? Because their job is to serve. You want that much more light serving. Now, what's equally important is that Master Shah has assigned Heaven's teams, generals and soldiers, marketing teams in heaven to assist all of his students with anything associated with moving the mission of love, peace, and harmony forward. Now, this is the heaven's teams. So these, these heaven's generals and soldiers will clear the blockages for you to open your love, peace, harmony chanting group. They will clear the blockages for anything that you're doing that, that brings love, peace, and harmony. If it's your plumbing business, that's not likely bringing love, peace, and harmony. You do not call on heaven's marketing teams for that. But if it is a soul-related uh, aspect, you can absolutely call them. How do you do that? Dear Master Shah, I truly appreciate you're creating Heaven's marketing teams, generals and soldiers, to help clear the blockages so we can successfully support your mission of love, peace, and harmony. Dear all of the Heaven's teams, uh, Heaven's marketing teams, generals and soldiers, that have been assigned to assist with this task, could you please come at this time? And as I do this soul marketing and chanting, could you please offer whatever is appropriate and clear those blockages so that my soul healing business, my soul efforts for love, peace, harmony, etc. is successful so that it can grow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, obviously I'm smooth in the delivery of that information because I've done it before. You do not have to memorize it. If you are the kind of person that has to do things exactly, I am not. You can go back and watch this video and write it out. But Master Shah has said again and again and again and again, and again, divine flexibility. Do not do everything. Don't square your head exact, 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 exact. That's squaring your head. It's not assisting your soul journey. It's all about the heart. Dear Master Shah, dear all the heavens, generals, and soldiers and marketing teams, I love you. Can you please assist me with this soul marketing? Enough. It's the heart that matters. Okay? So that's how you connect with them. So let us do a practice together. Specifically, we're going to do this for uh, all of our soul businesses and or opening a soul healing group, a soul power group, a love, peace, harmony chanting. We're going to do this together. Place your hands in soul light area hand position. Repeat after me. Dear all souls. And you would state your area in the area of Oahu, Honolulu. I love you. Could you please come to this soul conference? Dear all my downloads and treasures, please turn on. See, I remembered it this time. Dear God, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Master Shah. Dear all of my heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please come and, as appropriate, offer your blessings to help me grow my soul, and then state the name of your business or your intention, my love, peace, harmony group, etc., etc. Thank you. Dear all of these souls that have come, I truly love you. Let us sing love, peace, and harmony together for two minutes to open our hearts so I can share with you how I can bring value to your life. So then you would chant, love, peace, and harmony. Remember to invite all souls to chant with you. Let's do it together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, li. 
Lula, Lula, Li, Lula, Lula, Li, Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Oh, I worship, darling. Oh, I trust and lay on the rug her bushes. Song I ping on the sea, song I ping on the sea. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let us do forgiveness. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors, dear all souls who have come to this soul marketing, if I or my ancestors have harmed you physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, especially in business, in finance, or in any way have brought harm or suffering to you, your loved ones, your ancestors, because of our greed, our corruption, selfishness, anything that has caused you to suffer financially or in business. I deeply and sincerely apologize. I truly do not wish to create this form of suffering ever again for any soul. And I have learned my lessons. I ask that you offer your unconditional forgiveness to me. And I ask for your unconditional forgiveness. I promise that with the financial blessings I receive, I will serve more souls. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of course, offer them forgiveness. If you have brought deep suffering to me financially and in business, if you have caused suffering to my business, I forgive you unconditionally. I know you may have been reminding me and my ancestors of the suffering we may have brought you. And I choose to release you unconditionally and to ask for your unconditional forgiveness as well. So this is very important. Now you have many more open minds. You sing love, peace, and harmony. Heaven is on your side serving. We've asked, if we haven't already, we ask Heaven's marketing teams to join us. Dear the soul of Heaven's marketing teams uh, that have been assigned by Master Shah to assist his students when they're opening their soul healing business or growing love, peace, and harmony. Could you please come? And now, we are ready to communicate with those souls about the value of our business. So you do that. Do that on your end. Dear all souls, I love you. Could you please pay attention to my advertisements? Love, Peace, Harmony, World Family. Uh, here every night, Wednesday, at the center. Please pay attention to my business. Paul Fletcher, Soul Healer. Please pay attention to my advertisements in the Hawaii Wellness Directory, da 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 da. So you would do that step. Call me, then you tell them your phone number. Here is my email address. Here is my website. I'm very grateful. I look forward to serving you. Contact me. Remember to let them know how you will serve them. So it's not just reading your articles. Tell them how you will serve them. Will you uh, uh, provide Divine Healing Hands with that massage? Will you chant Love, Peace, and Harmony to help their families and all those in the Hawaiian Islands? <clears throat> Let them know how you will serve them. Those souls will be very moved. You're also teaching them forgiveness practice, which they might not know. And you're teaching them Love, Peace, and Harmony, which they have received the transmission, but they might not even know that it exists. So this is also a huge service. So just in soul marketing, you're offering huge service to all those souls that have come. You're teaching them as well as releasing karma, as well as aligning these souls to come to you. Finally, we chant to serve all of them 
and to align their hearts to our souls and their need for our services to what we are offering. And then we chant love, peace, and harmony for three to five minutes or more, completely up to you. Remember that if you do this and you're in an environment where you have um, uh, Kai Gong blessings, like Kai Gong Guan Yin's, or anything of that nature, always invoke those to assist you. If you have uh, the Tenda cards or any of the cards that go around you, anything in a circle, remember to put those around you first. All of these help maintain a much higher field and accordingly a much higher success when you're connecting to all those souls. So, welcome Aisha, welcome Monica, welcome Amy, and welcome Kristen. <clears throat> the first probably 20 minutes of this video is very choppy. It's still not a lot better. I will definitely do this again. This is trial run. Uh, hopefully when the uh, communication is better, you're all, um, uh, you're all my champions. You're still here even though the quality of the video is very poor. So I'm very grateful for you. So now what I will do is I will tell you I will open the questions. Uh, I will answer as many questions as I can related to. Sp now listen carefully. Don't ask. Don't ask the question until you hear the hear what I'm, I'm willing to work with. Everyone here has some form of soul healing business or a specific business, like Monica does artistry. Um, uh, other people have their own specific business. Ask a very specific question about a blockage area of that business. The more specific you are, heaven will give you a very specific answer. One of the reasons I'm doing this is to uh, generate visibility of my business, which is soul guided business. Yesterday I worked with a client, and go ahead and write down that question now. Yesterday I worked with a client from Australia. And she uh, works with uh, Master Shah and Master Shah's uh, healing and calligraphies. She has other skill sets and combined she wants to use them to help those that have uh, uh, experienced a loved one crossing over. And they're going through the grieving process. But she wasn't quite sure how to move from where she was at to where she needs to be. And so because of the soul guidance, because of the, uh, the many years in understanding the business uh, model, uh, because of the application of soul, I was able to offer some very, very uh, clear insights. By the end of the conversation, she was very, very happy with a uh, new direction. She, we, we, I gave her uh, homework that she felt comfortable in being able to accomplish, and she will absolutely have it done within the next two weeks. And we're going to go ahead and do a five session package because during those sessions, she, she will move forward with the suggestions and the guidance. And with each step, she'll move that business forward and have that success she is um, looking for. So that's what I'll be able to do for anyone that watches this video that has interest in that. So now I'll answer your questions and you'll see an example of how this would support you. So uh, Yvonne asks, <clears throat> what is the blockage of my Empower Network business? Thank you for your guidance. To the soil of Yvonne, Yvonne's business, Yvonne's Heaven's Teams. Could you please offer guidance for Yvonne at this time? <coughs> for our dear Yvonne. Your heart is pure, but you are limited in two arenas. One, those that you have aligned to <coughs> have spiritual tendency and background. They are not that technical. Therefore, they don't see the value in that business. Two, you are not marketing to the right clientele. For you, it is best to focus on students. The student must be addressed at the level that they come from. They love money. They understand, many of them, 
<coughs> computers, social media, etc. Many of them wish to start a business but do not know how and know that social media is a big aspect of that. <clears throat> for your Empower Network, what would be best for you is to create a inroad to college or students out, just getting out of college that are in need of paying off their spiritual debt, excuse me, their business school debt, that are in need of something that they can do along with the job they are currently doing to support them. That group is your best bet. Also, your native language is not is, is serving you, but your English language is not serving you. It is best to get those students in front of someone else that can do the presentation on your behalf unless it is in your native language. If you isolate to these two suggestions and uh, duplicate it in as many areas as possible to find the youth, then <clears throat> you will uh, find some forward momentum. These are our suggestions for you at this time. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay. Okay. It's lit up here. We have quite a few questions. Uh, Carrie says, what is blocking me starting a Love, Peace, Harmony group? <clears throat> For you, our beloved uh, Carrie, it is actually a lack of self-confidence. You would be best to align to two or three other souls in the area and powwow together. Connect with existing organizations that have a similar mindset. They don't necessarily know about this song or this movement or even what you would bring to their table, but they have an intention and a desire to be of value to humanity. These organizations exist and they have a network within them. By connecting with them and a couple other in your area that will support you to be uh, more confident and you will feel like you're not doing it alone. By uh, not going out and paying for or trying to gather people to your uh, group, but instead soliciting existing uh, entities that have existing database with individuals in it, uh, this is a way in which you can accomplish both with the least amount of effort. How? So Rianne says, would like your guidance and blessings to get a job that is appropriate. <clears throat> okay, so um, what you would do, Rianne, is, is you would apply exactly what I just said in the soul marketing List your skill sets. Dear all the souls of all of those businesses in the area where I live at that need individuals of my skill set, please come that need and are hiring individuals of my skill set or might be hiring in the near future. Please come to this soul conference. Speak to them through love, through forgiveness, Speak to them, tell them how you can serve them, and then um, uh, spell, spell out you know, all of your values, and then um, give them your contact information, etc. So how do you get a job? You call forth all of those that would hire you in advance. And then do the communication with them. Do the love, do the forgiveness, tell them how you can serve them. And uh, if, you, if you're able to get names of the companies, names of the, uh, of the hiring people, the people that are in charge, then you would talk to their souls directly. If not, you just ask in general. <clears throat> this is how you would do that. Scott, what is my blockage to my finances? <clears throat> That's a very general question, Scott.
very clearly I heard Scott that it is you know, it is financial karma and that um, what you need to do is you need to chant to serve others who have financial karma. And you need to invite your ancestors to chant with you for all those that have financial karma. <clears throat> because you, um, yeah, there's a lot of it. It's, 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 it's not light. So the more you chant for others, the more virtue you will receive and the load will become lighter. Also, I'm hearing gratitude. So if you find a nickel on the ground, gratitude. If, if, a, if a $10 check comes uh, or you find it in your drawer underneath something, gratitude. M gratitude wherever financial blessings come. Forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. <clears throat> but you've got, um, you've, you've, you, you really need to, to chant for others, Scott. Kristen says, should I pivot my business? Is there something else I should be doing other than massage? <clears throat> the soul of Kristen Rojas, Kristen's business. Uh, the soul of her massage and any aspect of shifting it or adjusting it to better uh, provide success for her. Could you please become present? Uh, soul of any ideas or insights that can serve Kristen? Could you please be present to offer whatever guidance is most pertinent at this time? Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, yeah, hey, uh, yeah, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. For, this is your heaven's team, Kristen. For our dear Kristen, <clears throat> what she needs to do is create a effective referral business. The clients that come are not referring you consistently. They need to be rewarded for a referral. New clients need to be uh, advised of that is a natural built-in tendency of how you do business. Research the most effective referral-based programs. There are actually some that are substantially better than others. People tend to be moved by a value they receive for referring. <coughs> This may have been something you have done, but you are now moving forward and gathering more, and this will assist you. Additionally, you should look to expand your advertising in areas, uh, for example, with physical therapists. Go to offer <coughs> massage at one of these places, and there are several of them, go to one or more of these places and offer your service complimentary for one day a week, for a few hours, etc. And allow the physical therapists there to get feedback from those clients. If they receive positive feedback, then they would be comfortable supporting you and vice versa. You want to look at synergy. People that do something that causes pain could refer to you. You could do something that refers to their service, whatever it may be. Look for synergistic things where you can refer back to them. They can refer back to you do flows and you should come up with three or four good possibilities. How? <clears throat> Monica says, my next intent is to pass, turn my art into jewelry pieces. May I take a jewelry course uh, or my hubby? Thank you.
I'm actually hearing it's better for your husband to take the, the course because he can teach you. And um, he, it, it, part of it is because of the, um, the necessity to, uh, to not damage your hands. And part of it is because he has some really unique creativity that has not been revealed yet um, with jewelry making. How? <clears throat> Johnny asks, what blockage do I have in my network marketing business? It seems I'm not able to attract the right clients. For our beloved Johnny, it would be of value to hang on to the tailcoats of those that have made it to the top. Specifically, listen to their uh, ways that they marketed those souls that helped them to get to the top. How did they introduce the product? What did they do and in how did they do it? Did they have a paper, etc., that they used? What were the words specifically, very specifically, that they used? There is no need to reinvent the wheel. You must specialize in one or two very specific ways that have proven to be effective by those at the top. If you make your efforts towards this end, you will start to see pieces of success. The next aspect would be, of course, to duplicate this process. That is why it is important to isolate one or two things that you can do, because then you can teach the others to duplicate that process. This would cause the potential for this business to grow. Also, applying what has been learned here today with soul marketing would assist you. Uh, be aware to be detached from it. Part of the inability to grow your business is the uh, unsurety of how to reveal the product to those uh, that you believe could be a good match. Sometimes you may have to do the uncomfortable thing to be successful. This means if the most successful one has a, a method and it feels uncomfortable to you, you may have to choose to do it anyway and do it again and again and again until it becomes comfortable and basically you have nothing to lose. If you choose just the one that is comfortable, you might find that it still does not work for you. So choose one that is comfortable, a method, and one that is uncomfortable so that you can expand your uh, opportunities. How? So Renee says, I am planning on joining a consulting service to other businesses. Would love to have guidance on moving forward. I'm not sure if you mean joining or creating a consulting uh, service. But <clears throat> for our beloved Renee, one of the best ways to grow your visibility is to solicit the business and offer your suggestions for a very nominal fee. You would need to, for example, be at the place of employment that is your hiree, observe, review books, etc. You would need that carte blanche. 
but you would very clearly see many of the problem areas, the wisdoms that Master Shah has brought forth to do soul communication, soul marketing, and communication at the soul level about your fees to help them resolve everything. This is how some of the greatest success is ever achieved. There are many that have all the secrets and what they do is they reveal them week after week. They tell you everything they know, one step at a time. And because people read these uh, truths, they are amazed. They say, oh, wow, this person is telling me a tremendous truth here. I trust them, therefore I will buy their product or service. This is the form of marketing that works today. It is one that don't hold back anything. Tell them what you know. They will honor for your service because you held nothing back. This is our suggestion for gathering value. There is additional information, but it requires additional questions and there can be tremendous success for you in this arena with additional guidance. How? Okay, last question uh, is for Crystal. <clears throat> she says, what is my blockage in my jewelry and massage business and how can I implement my healing services within them? Okay. For a beloved crystal, there is also value for you to synthesize your businesses with others. Who could best sell your product, the beads, etc.? What about a hairdressing establishment? They talk all the time. You could, for example, work out an agreement where that hairdresser receives massage for you from you at a reduced or free cost and in return she supports the selling of your beads. This is simply an example. There are many possibilities out there for this. Also many of those establishments offer nails etc. And these establishments are always looking for a way to generate additional income. This is something that they have not addressed or have not uh, uh, looked at as a, as a way to generate additional income. You must be careful about how you bring this to an organization that is only about the money. You must let them to know that uh, your products are unique and individual as their clients are unique and individual. In other words, if it is a uh, on every street corner hair and nail place then it would not be your best choice as they would just get a cheaper product and sell it for more profit. You want to identify those that align to your quality, those that align to your service. How to incorporate your divine healing hands? This is something that could be quite unique to you. With each uh, jewelry piece of item that you make, you could place a special card on it that states each recipient of this piece of jewelry, when they contact you, will receive a complimentary three-minute divine healing hands blessing for a condition of their choice. And so they will contact you. In this way, you have gained the potential for a new bead client, the potential for a new massage client, the potential for gathering their email information to send them further information through newsletters, etc. You have also gained the potential for a soul healing client. So you offer them a complimentary three-minute blessing, and then 
as you can converse with them, you open up to other possibilities. This is a way in which you can use what is already existing to grow your soul healing business. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Heaven, for that uh, insight. I'm sure that will help Crystal. <clears throat> and I hope that insight helped all of you. Uh, I apologize for not being able to connect with the rest of you on your questions. Um, I, will, uh, I will continue this tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have a much better connection. Um, so for those that did not get their questions and answers today, instead of uh, Diraj, um, uh, Marie, Archana, Pat, uh, if you come in tomorrow, I will take time to make sure to address your, uh, your concerns first. Okay. Again, I apologize for today's quality of the feed. Uh, I'm going to have to check my phone, see if that has anything to do with it. I've eliminated pretty much everything else that I could think of. Um, so thank you so much for coming today. Um, feel free to contact me afterwards if you have any questions about how I can best serve your business. I do offer programs to do so to move you from where you're at to where you'd like to be. And I'm happy to serve you in that way. So until tomorrow, same time, same place. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye, everyone.